1860s British pop music invasion into the, into the colonies, and he never really left. His musical talent and interest stretched far beyond just rock. He's a disc jockey, an author, a producer, and he's sitting right next to me. And uh, this is Ian Whitcomb. Hello, nice to Ian. See you How again. are you? Again? Yeah, well, I saw you on Fernwood tonight. Oh, I enjoyed you so much on that. Thank you. Then you remember um, Happy well, Kind and the right, Mirth of Makers. Course. I'm uh, a great fan of, his, yeah. uh, fan of his songs. And I like his tie and his collar. Thank you. Thank you. His tie looks very, very like a British uh, public school, school tie. Yeah, school Etonian, tie. is it? No, Etonian. It's a little bit of uh, interesting design there. A little bit of, uh, you had your last, what, what did you have? A, a patty melt, I think. Yeah, yeah well, that's, anyway. no, that's from the bun and run. Oh, is it? <laughs> Oh, fair enough. They get those payments, you know, Taco. from a residual and write oh, in no, and buy a hamburger right. and a milkshake. Not and buns again. We've had all that porn out. Yes, enough. But anyways, I, sorry. Yes, carry yes. on. Well, now, how did uh, someone from England, you are from England, either that or so, yeah. you've been working on an accent, which is terrific. Well, I've just come back from there. Oh, have you? Yeah, I had to make sure the war was going all right. Yes. But, uh, you I won, get, didn't you? We won all yeah, right. Yeah, good. I've even ri ri written a song about it called The Argy Stump. Yeah, but I changed it to tango because apparently they're all doing the tango dance oh, yes, now because yes. they've, they've got a bit of trouble with their head, you know. Yeah, but yeah. anyway, get into that. I want to get Good politics. show. That's an anyway. opinion. Good show down there in the don't Argentines. Don't insult ethnics. Yeah, anyway, a bit of a uh, battle there, didn't there you? Was, it was a damn good show. Yes. My bro brother-in-law was in charge of it. Oh, really? But anyway, well, uh, I, I go back every now and then to check up my uh, check up on my accent because gotta... every now and then it slips. It becomes slightly American when I'm... Oh, out, that's so no good. I go back to get it back. It's a nice sound, though. It does. Which one do you like? Well, the last one you did. The American one. American, yeah. I've always thought American accents are very macho, you know. English people, uh, we tend to think that we speak rather effetely, you know. You do. You all sound like sissies, not to mince well, you words. Know. You all sound... Well, I mean, well, let's not mince words. Let's say you think we're all bugger boys. I don't... Back, uh, yeah. we, well, you think don't use that. You think we're back passage boys, but well, we're not, okay. except at school. And I oh, think everybody should time. go. I think at school everybody should go through the back passage thing. Yes. Once you've done it at school, you know you want something else. Is oh, it I possible think. to break that habit? Oh, I've br broken it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard but to anyway, get in a fight painful. talking British, isn't it? They're well, I mean, I do. It's it's a good. Uh, that's quite a good accent. Is it? By the way, yeah. <laughs> it's my only. But anyway, I I no, I go back just so that I will uh, speak in my old accent, and I've got my old school uh, sweater on, you see, and I wear it because it keeps me away from the streets of Hollywood. Uh -huh. Otherwise, I might, you know, get attracted to the things on sale there. Oh, yeah. You got off the track again, sorry. I didn't yeah. mean to talk about pornography. Um, <laughs> we, uh, we had Jimmy Breslin on the show the other night, and you two were probably going, rolling around the oh, floor. Oh, he's a professional bog man, isn't he? Oh, uh, what's that? A professional Irishman, yeah. Well, there's an American who's Irish, or thinks he oh, is, oh, yes. and talks without knowing anything about Ireland. Oh, I is it? I wish he was And they hearing. supply guns to the IRA. I, think I, I know, know those types now. Uh, is it true that you were uh, once a, um, a vocal coach for Mae West? Well, I worked with her for years, yeah. yes. Uh, we, you yeah, produced I, an I album. I produced an uh, album uh, with her called uh, Great Balls of Fire. And when she said balls, she meant balls. And, uh, and we, did, we did songs. That was back in the 60s. Do you remember the 60s? Oh, like it was vaguely. The 20s. That's Her, when Frank used to tell me about them, yes. 1860. Well, <laughs> it was like, it was as bad, bad, bad as that. That's when the kids walked through the fields of Woodstock, singing yes. where have all the flowers gone. But yes. any, but, but we, but we, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but uh, anyway. Um, uh, oh, and it even yes, sounded anyway, funny so with an English accent. Yes, I, <laughs> so I was recording May West, and, and we did Great Balls of Fire. From and the old Jerry the Lewis 60s. song. Of That's yes. right. We had to change the word. Then we did Happy Birthday, Sweet Sixteen, which we had to change because she said she couldn't go out with a man at age 21. Uh -huh. so, so we did that. That was a long time ago. Uh -huh. but, but like Frank, I've, I've worked in the... Uh, nice chap, isn't he? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> no, he's a friendly chap. Yeah. Frank? But anyway, we, we, I worked, I've recorded many people, including yes. myself. <laughs> oh my, I didn't know you that way. <laughs> Frank, and you can't tell because he doesn't talk like this, you know? Yeah. He uh, says, yeah, I'll buy you a drink, let's go out, you know, young. Uh, yes. But Frank uh, dates back to, you played first leg like, with Horace Haidt. Does oh, that no. mean oh, anything yes, to you? Horace Haidt, of course, a great band leader. Oh, yes. yes. And I, Ian, I, I shirt is from the uniform. Ah, uh, oh, fair enough. Yes. Yeah. No, he was a wonderful band leader. I go back to ragtime, actually. And beyond. You know, I had an uncle Weird. who wrote popular songs, Frank. He wrote Lady of Spain, I Adore You. This, this is, is the man we can this blame. Yeah, the way, I'm yes. Yes. Are you the one? Yes. He wrote that. I get the money. That's why. Do you play accordion? Do you play accordion? No, no. He was a gentleman. As a mad gentleman is a man who knows how to play the accordion but doesn't play it. Anyway, <laughs> so, no, no. And anyway, toasted no, he, by everyone. That's yes. Right. He wrote that, and that's why I can afford these clothes. He wrote, "Let's all sing like the bird is singing, tweet, 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 twat, twat," yeah. which uh -huh. in England means a certain part of the body. Uh -huh. And then he wrote, "I've never wronged an onion, so why should it make me cry?" And that was the end of his. <laughs> 
career. That is big ahead. Before right. we run out of time, because I'm going to ask you to I'm do something. I'm going to have to plug my show. I'm going to. Yes, even though you're British and I'm very proper, you still want to yeah. plug. Yeah, Pl I, flog your I show. Can I plug? Flog. Well, yes. Yeah. Can well, I flog it? Yes. Well, this Saturday, Frank. And <laughs> yes. And uh, I'm going to be appearing. Can I? Can I plug it? I'm going Go to be ahead. appearing you're into at Variety it now. Arts Theatre. You That's downtown that. L.A. Downtown, it's quite safe there. Downtown L.A., 9.40 South Figueroa, where uh -huh. I'll be doing my show from ragtime to rock and roll. And it's two hours long, and it's it's great fun. Uh -huh. So that's the variety. Arts it's an theater. interesting theater. Have you seen that theater? Oh, I, it's like a I, throwback I, to the '40s or something. Yeah, but I really, play, it's a wonderful place. Um, Can I sing a song now? I would love you to. Or is it time? Yes, is it time? Because he wants to sing his entire I song. This is a sing, song Frank, from, and I wanted to ask you so many questions, like whatever well, happened to Fats Domino. Well, he's he was, around. He's playing but, in Vegas. But I know. But why hasn't I? Oh, I'm just. I'm God, I play with. I'm playing next week with Hank Ballard. They're all around. They're, none of them are dead. It's just, it's just our again. trendy times. Yes. Okay, you see, we think back. they're all dead. They think I'm dead. But Go ahead. All this around. is from what? This, this is from Joseph Wombau, the, the policeman. Very nice chap. And uh, this is from his new book, The Glitter Dome. Mm -hmm. And I've got a song in the book. So I'm the only chap in the world who has a, number one, who has a song in a number one book. Get those oh. fingers flying. Okay, here we go. Fingers, do your stuff. Where is the place that they all like to go? It's Hollywood, wackadoo, wackadoo. Jack and Jill, Bruce and Bill, Manny and Mo. Go Hollywood. Down on the booly bar Saturday night. You've never seen such a colorful sight. But make sure that you roll up your windows real tight. In Hollywood, last chorus in the tradition of countless marines. Go Hollywood, wackadoo, oh, wackadoo. Tuck, no, listen, listen, you've got to hear this next line. Tuck your equipment in super tight jeans. Go Hollywood, wackadoo, wackadoo. Saunter the booly bar, you're out for hire. Milk all you can out of old men's desires. Cause in just a few years, you'll find that you are the buyer. That's Hollywood. Hey. And Frank, I don't know if you can play uh, an accordion left-handed. Not a left Not an accordion, no. a uh, uh, banjo. Ukulele. With a, no, ukulele. That's this, ukulele. Was, this was given to me by Mike Curb. It was. Ah, that's, why he's a, that's why he's fine. We'll be right back with Michael Medved. No, his Medved. boyfriend gave it to me, sorry. Michael <laughs> Medved will be right back. We didn't even hear that. But you can uh, teach people to play that left-handed. Yes. <laughs> I want...